We are back at the Silver Creek Sportsplex with another CCS versus NCS contest. Clayton Valley won a tight final game to advance with their flashy running back Ray Jackson III leading the way. And Oak Grove has an outstanding running back in Rashawn Fontenet who took the team on his back last week with a stunning 60-yard run to win the section title. Two outstanding running backs in this week's monster game and our Jack Washer was there. Well, when I got this game, I realized that it's going to be a pretty quick game and not because it's just going to be a blowout, but both of these teams love to run the football. With Clayton Valley, you got Ray Jackson the third. It's just a dynamic every time he touches the ball. And Rashawn Fontenet, no slouch himself. He's our CCS All-Around Player of the Year and for good reason. He does it all. He does it in the kicking game. He does it in the receiving game. He does it in the running game, of course. And he'll even line up under center, which has confused defenses throughout the entire playoffs. Will the Oak Grove Magic continue or will Clayton Valley's experience propel them to another state championship game? It's the monster game let's get right to it the haka the mount everest of pregame fire ups and it seemed to work for the ugly eagles second play from scrimmage zla romani finds a keel leland in the sea wide open and he'll do the rest 77 yards on the pitch and catch and clayton valley up seven nothing less than 40 seconds into the game later in the corner anu tuiono blasts through the line for oak grove and picks up 20 yards eagles in business inside the red zone and that would lead to this 37 yard field goal by Joel Gomez to get the Eagles on the board. Lead cut to 7-3. Second quarter and it's Leland again. This time taking the direct snap up and over. And yes, he did break the plane. 14-3 Clayton Valley. Third quarter and Jake Peralta getting in on the action. Picks up 13 yards and a first down. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Peralta again around left end. Waltz is in for an easy 10 yard score and a 21-3 Clayton Valley lead. Oak Road trying to get something going, but it was to no avail. Ugly Eagles defense just stifling all night long. Peralta gets the interception here. Another NorCal title for Tim Murphy and the Ugly Eagles as they win 21-3 and will go for a state title next week. Leland talked after the game about setting the tone on the second play of the game. It made us very fired up. You know, we came out. We knew it was going to score. We knew it was going to score on that play because the safety was coming up hard. So. We knew we had the game after that. We know that uh, not as not a lot of teams have as much players as us, so we know that we have to control the clock. And uh, um, a lot of teams that we play play, uh, play both ways, so we know if we just keep getting three, four yards of carry, then you know just wear them down. And, uh, well, last year we were just surprised. We we were surprised we were going to be there, and you know this year we know we know what's coming, and we're just going to work hard and just get that W next week. In San Jose with the Monster Game, I'm Jack Washer, Cal High Sports Bay Area.